There are more notes from Elham's Math 110b, section 7.2. <coughs> Ignore this, that was from the 7th edition. Now, I went through some derivation of the integrals of all the trig functions. I'm not holding you responsible for that since we're in a, in a sticky situation. You should already know the integral of the cosine is the sine. The integral of the sine is negative the cosine. I've gone through derivations of all the other the trig functions, but for brevity's sake and simplicity, you can look at it if you want. Integral of the tangent, I talked about it a little bit, it's ln absolute value sine x plus c. Integral of the cotangent x is ln absolute value sine x plus c. You can put those on your formula sheet. So again, integral of the tangent, ln absolute value secant x plus c. Integral of cotangent, cotangent x is ln absolute value sine x plus c. This is ln absolute secant x plus c. I'm not sure if I misspoke. Okay, the integral of the secant is ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x plus c. Here's a derivation for that. Okay, and that's as much as I'm going to show you now. There is an integral for the cosecant, but I'm going to hold off on that. <clears throat> so, the rest of these problems involve integrals with secant and tangent. So, I've got some problems here involving secant and tangent. Now, we know the derivative of the tangent is the secant squared. The derivative of the secant is the secant times the tangent. Okay, we also need to use these identities. 1 plus tangent squared x equals secant squared x. And therefore, tangent, x, tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. So, when we get an integral of secant to the mx tangent to the nx, we want to transfer the integral into one of these following. You want a bunch of stuff that says tangent of x times secant squared x dx, or a bunch of stuff with only secant x times secant x tangent x dx. Then you can do a u substitution. Here's some examples of that. Number 21, tangent x secant cubed x dx. Okay, you can see from here I can extract out a secant x tangent x. So I write it as secant squared x secant x tangent x dx. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent, as I see here. So let u be secant x, du is secant x tangent x. So I've transformed this into u squared du. And that's easy, that's u cubed plus 3, or 1 third secant cubed x plus c. Problem 23, tangent squared x. The key to rewrite tangent squared x is we know tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So tangent squared make it secant squared x minus 1. Integral of the secant squared is just a tangent, minus the integral of 1 is x plus c. Okay, uh, 27, it looks like I may have crossed it out, that was a mistake, sorry about that. But it says, integral of tangent cubed secant x dx. So once again, I can write this as a secant tangent. Okay, so I'm going to make this into a tangent squared times secant x tangent x dx. So I want this expression here, the thing that I have circled, to only involve secant. Right now it says tangent squared, but we know I can change that because tangent squared is equal to secant squared minus 1. So there it is, integral of secant squared x minus 1 times secant x tangent x dx. So now here's an expression that only involves the one trig function secant. So let u be secant x, du is secant x tangent x dx. So this goes away as du. I'm integrating u squared minus 1. So that gives me u cubed over 3 minus u plus c. Change u back to secant, so 1 third secant cubed x minus secant x plus c. <clears throat> okay, 29, here's tangent cubed x secant to the sixth x. All right, so here's one where I want to make it look like a bunch of stuff with tangent x times secant squared x. So I write this as tangent cubed x secant to the fourth x times secant squared x dx. Should be a dx there. Okay, and now I'm going to write this as tangent cubed x secant squared x squared times secant squared x dx. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is change secant squared x to 1 plus tangent squared x by using this right here. So now it says tangent cubed times 1 plus tangent squared squared secant squared x dx. Now I have all of this stuff only involving the one trig function of tangent whose derivative is secant squared. So let u be tangent x du equals secant squared x dx. So that becomes u cubed 1 plus u squared squared du. And then I'm pretty much home free, just a little bit of heavy-duty algebra. So 1 plus u squared squared is 1 plus 2u squared plus u to the fourth. Then distribute the u cubed. So I'm doing u cubed plus 2u to the fifth plus u to the seventh. 
Integrate u to the 4th over 4 plus 2 u to the 6th over 6 plus u to the 8th over 8. Change 2 6 to 1 3rd. Change u back to what it originally was, which was tangent. So I get 1 4th tangent to the 4th x plus 1 3rd tangent to the 6th x plus 1 8th tangent to the 8th x plus a constant. Alright, so those are more notes from 7.2.